This video was inspired by TB76 Returns and his abridged reviews on the TSW routes, of which there are now a lot more than I remember. But for my take on the 10 words or less concept, I will only be including the routes I actually own, and I realised while making this video that I've now got 50 TSW routes in my collection. Make of that what you will. I like the Chessy cabooses at Hindman, not much else. The HST feels like a caged animal on this route. The tunnel section is cool, but the rest is boring. A nice change of pace from the modern commuter lines. A slower and windy route with decent service variation. Spoiled by being too short and desolate, with horrible scenery. Insert Dream Academy reference here. A decent combination of passenger, freight, and banking duties. A good route for the English electric fans. Good timetable and rubbish scenery. What a bizarre combination. It's way too short and boring. Moving on. A charming environment for EMUs. Shame about the route length. A desolate route with reused trains sounds on the locomotives. Simple services with decent EMUs. Shame about the route length. Way too quiet without the extra layers installed. I'm down in the tube station at midnight. Not a bad concept, but it's spoiled by lousy execution. Too much missing OHLE and sod all traffic without layers. Exciting high speed running spoiled by linearity and awful scenery. Much better with the extended version. Lots of variety here. Great concept, but horrible execution. That's our rivet! Decent concept, but spoiled by having insufficient rolling stock. One of the weakest German routes in the game. Next! Simple services and a non-linear layout. I like it. Not bad, but it needs double-decker MBTA coaches. With a busy timetable and non-linear layout, it's excellent. A great timetable, but it needs more 377 variants. Very challenging routes with the BR612, but the scenery sucks. Busy timetable and decent trains. Shame about the route length. Too bland, lifeless and predictable. Don't buy this one. A welcome improvement over the original. Just because it's fast, doesn't mean it's exciting. Another dud. Long, heavy freight trains through boring desert scenery. That's it. The Class 323 sounds good, but the route is somewhat boring. A very short and boring route with good rolling stock. The Class 385 is fine, but the route is boring. Where do I even start with this abomination? Very linear, but saved by the vintage motive power. Excellent scenery and rolling stock. Shame about the route length. It's decent after the updates, but still way too short. This one's a mixed bag. At least the scenery's nice. An interesting change from Birmingham. Shame about the route length. Ruined by bad scenery and wrong sounds on the Talent 1. The Class 800's absence doesn't help an already bland route. This route is a complete bore. Moving on. Multiple branches with good service variation and class 142 paces. Basically just a poor man's Niedertalban, or Vorarlberg's diesel equivalent. Decent train and station details. Shame about the route length. The 170's sounds could be better, but it's otherwise fine. And that's it for my abridged reviews of all the TSW routes in my collection, at the time of uploading. I think that after all these years of me playing TSW, I've noticed that the one overarching issue with the whole series, at least in my opinion, is the routes often being way too short or having very mediocre slash uninspired concepts, especially in the cases of Hamburg to Lübeck, Spirit of Steam, and Bremen to Oldenburg. 
But sometimes, there are redeeming factors like an interesting time period, unique rolling stock, or generally good scenery. And those are the reasons why my favourite TSW routes are the Nidur Taliban, Blackpool Branches, and Island Line 2022. Incidentally, none of those routes are Dovetail products.